with another plan with me in my A6 rings turning to last week to show you how it turned out I didn't finish filling out the week um, but it's okay I might go back but I'm not too sure at this point it was just a busy week so it's currently Saturday as I was filming this video so as you can see it's pretty empty it is now Monday as I am doing this voiceover if my voice sounds a little bit raspy my apologies I think I'm getting sick this kit that I'm using the week this week is from Sweet Tea Plants I believe this kit was last year I don't think I picked it up this year because I don't remember picking it up this year but her, I think her format has changed since then and also her sticker paper so this is just a really old kit brought it out to use this year because of the colors it was very different from the last week's spread and that's usually how I like to plan out my spreads Using a tool pen for this week, I'm back on a skinny gel pen kick. I was using a jelly roll for a really long time, but I'm back to a skinny gel pen. Washi tapes for the week. This one is from the Pink Room Co., but I have not used... I don't think I used that one this week. No, I didn't use it. And then I just have these two random ones from my collection. And that colorful one just has the perfect colors to match the kit. So starting off, I am going to be pulling out my inserts, which reminds me now as, watch, as I'm watching this, I need to print off some more inserts for the upcoming weeks. Pre-planning insert, I'm just going to be ripping out since I'll be tossing it after since that those two weeks are over. So starting off with Monday, I always start off with one day at a time to figure out how I want to lay out the week. So I'm first whiting out the top portion because you would be able to see it through this washi tape using the washi tape that has all of the fall colors and just looks like really cute some fall deco. Then I am going in with the date cover on my stickery portion, grabbing a glitter header to put on the right side where my full box and checklist goes just to kind of start off that side. Normally I don't like fashion girls, but I don't want to use the quote sticker this week so the fashion girl it is which is fine because it kind of looks like me I got long brown hair and I'm pretty white right now not so much tanned so that kind of looks like me putting down the ombre or the checklist at the bottom and then putting down some washi tape in the middle and then the to-do header and then I'm putting down a glitter header underneath the date cover and that is pretty much going to be how the theme is going to look like so I was pretty happy with that so I am going uh, like element by element so I'm starting off with a washi tape at the top and then I'm just going to work in pieces so I don't forget anything and then I just remember where everything goes instead of having to keep referencing my Monday spread or the previous day spread. So I'm just lay, uh, laying this one at the top. I have not used a pattern washi from my collection in a, such a long time. So I re really like how this week turned out because of that washi tape. It's just been super different. Mainly I've been pulling like Simply Gilded, The Pink Room Co, Pocket Post, all those types of washi. So it was nice and refreshing to use something different for this week. This week's plans, or like my planner starts out very bare, but I have so much going on. I didn't want to start writing everything in that I need to get done for the week because I don't want to overwhelm myself before the week even begins. I am going to take it literally day by day this week as far as the plans go just because... I have so much to do. The trip is coming up. Pre-Black Friday sales begins soon as you will see in the plan with me or the plans for the week. And yeah, I just want to take it easy, take it day by day so I don't stress myself out. I also have a work planner that I also do day by day so I don't, like I said, stress myself out. But so the plans, I mean, there's some stuff going on but to-do lists are pretty empty and it's kind of just repetitive throughout the week as far as what my to-do list looks like and I forgot the absolute main thing that I am so excited for this week I forgot to write it in my planner but we are watching Frozen 2 on Sunday and I totally forgot to put that in my planner it wasn't in my pre-plans because I forgot to put it in there but we are watching Frozen 2 on Sunday the 24th which I still need to write that in my planner but that is kind of what the plans are looking like for this week um, yeah there's just so much to do but I don't know what days I'm gonna do it and where everything is going to fall so I'm just finishing up everything I like that I switched up and used the checklist at the bottom instead for this week instead of capping it off with some washi tape it just looks a little bit different so I really do like the way that it looks like I think I'm gonna have to new, do another spread kind of like this um, because I really do like the difference with the washi tape at the top and yeah 
putting down that washi tape to kind of block off that area because the middle of that section was super large and the to-do header in the middle if I just left it at that would look like it was floating and just it would have looked awkward the spacing anyway so putting the washi tape there really kind of evened everything out last thing that I'm doing is putting down the to-do headers from the kit to mark off my to-do list and that is that I'm giving you a quick flip through and then realize I'm just missing something from this spread so I do grab some foiled washi tape this is just a random one that I found in my collection it's just gold foiled and has arrows um, usually there's washi tape in some port of the some part of the spread foiled washi tape did I say that I got distracted for a second but I needed some shine already so I'm using this to kind of run down the edge just to add some sparkle some of it will be covered up and that won't bother me but the sparkle would just kind of peek through moving into day by day putting down my notepad because my desk is textured I have all of my stickers for Monday so let's begin planning for the week First things first, I'm putting down this coffee sticker with Piha sitting inside of it. This is from Her Name is Savvy, and that is her character Piha. And I just thought that this one would match the spread perfectly because pineapples are yellow and there is yellow in the spread. And there's not too many times that I get to use the sticker, so I wanted to pull it into the spread. For this week, I had such a hard time laying down stickers straight across. You'll see me mess with a couple of stickers trying to see if, or see if it's put down straight and then readjusting. That bow divider was from my shop. This box sticker is from the kit. And this Once More With Love Munchkin is holding a pencil. And this is to mark that I want to turn in Jaden's vacation form. I wrote that last week. I didn't do it. I completely forgot. And now that it is Monday as I'm doing this voice voiceover, I forgot again. So seriously, tomorrow I really need to do that. Grabbing a flag sticker from the kit, but it was very large. So I trimmed down the edges so it wasn't so wide because I didn't need that much space. Using a foiled sticker from from Murray's Sweet Addiction of a laptop and that is to mark that I want to email Destiny's teacher about our vacation. I've already told Ryder's teacher but I wanted to let Destiny's teachers know so they can hopefully get some work together for them. Blocking off this section with a Mickey divider from my shop because that kind of all had to do with like our Disney vacation so I thought that would be perfect for that area. Using a box sticker from the kit and then an emoji from the Copy Monsters Co. holding a makeup palette and it just says palette addict and that is to mark that my ColourPop delivery is coming in today. Um, so that's kind of exciting. I'm addicted to ColourPop so I always, I don't buy every single release but almost every single release. Moving on to my to-do list which is going to look pretty similar every single day for the week and that is using this print and cut sticker from my shop print and cut sticker from my shop and then that is just to mark that I want to print and cut stock for the shop because I'm using this box sticker from that I sold as a $2 Tuesday and then that countdown sticker was also sold as a $2 Tuesday and that is to mark the countdown for the pre Black Friday sale that I'm having in my shop. Also I want to work on a $2 Tuesday prep and that completes Monday's spread. Moving on to Tuesday, using a box sticker from the kit, a $2 Tuesday foil sticker from Rory Sweet Addiction, and a mailer doodle from my shop to mark $2 Tuesdays and pack orders. Um, my pre-Black Friday sale is happening very, very soon. I will have all of the information posted on my Instagram throughout this week. I will have a countdown up in my Instagram stories if you want to count down with me. And I'm pretty sure I'm posting all of the information on Wednesday as far as the sale goes. So that is all for Tuesday side as of right now. I do put something down after, but I am marking down my countdown for the pre-Black Friday sale. Um, I do have it early because if I had it on a Black Friday, I would go insane because that is way too close to our trip and I can't have those two things budding up so close together. So every year I do have a pre-Black Friday sale. Using a box sticker from the kit and that girl sticker is from Sweet Paper Studio Designs and this is just to mark that I want to have a design day. I'm trying to get ahead as much as possible. So yeah, that completes Tuesday. Moving on to Wednesday. Starting off at the top, I am using this box sticker from Chic Street Sticker Boutique and then a laundry girl sticker from Sweet Paper Studio Designs. Wednesday is our laundry day and yeah, it's always laundry day on Wednesdays. Anyways, moving down, I am using this bow divider sticker from Once More With Love. It's just has some faux glitter which is really cute using this emoji from the coffee monsters co and it's just this like fall planning time emoji like almost like a flat lay but it is cut out a camera sticker from my shop and then i am just using this to mark film time i don't know what i'm filming on this day yet but i know i am going to film something so i just put film time so and then when that day comes i'll figure out what to film 
moving to, to the to-do list and putting down the box ticker and then the countdown for the pre-Black Friday sale using a washi strip from the kit, layering on top a Once More With Love Munchkin couple watching TV and this date night sticker is from C&L Crafts. My voice is getting more and more raspy as this voiceover goes on. Instagram doodle from my shop and that is just to mark Instagram posts so midweek washi Wednesday and then probably the pre black Friday sale information will be posted on that day that completes Wednesday moving on to Thursday I'm starting off with the to-do list with the print and cut sticker to mark print and cut stock I am a ready to ship shop if you're not uh, familiar with my shop so I want to get as much print and cut beforehand as possible so that the shop is as stocked as it could be up until the sale and then I will be restocking as necessary except the Christmas items um, during the sale. Moving over to my stickery portion using a box sticker from the kit, a grocery bag from my shop that is to mark a safe run. That swatch sticker is from my shop, I do believe I sell that one or something similar to that. And that foiled laptop sticker is from Tassel Planner which is no longer open and that is just to mark that I want to create the coupon code for the pre-Black Friday sale so everything is ready to go and I'm not rushing. Moving on to Friday, starting off with this deco sticker from the kit, Aloha Friday doodle from my shop to mark Aloha Friday. Moving down, I'm using this box sticker from the kit, and then I do move it down a little bit to make room for a school bus sticker, which is from Tazzled Planner, which again is no longer open, and that is just to mark that rider has a field trip. I was trying to figure out how to write it since the uh, bus sticker was kind of going into the box and yeah so he has a field trip i don't mark down what he needs to bring i usually do but i wanted to leave this day kind of open in case i had more stuff to write moving in i'm using a flag sticker from the kit day date sticker from uh cnl crafts to mark day date box sticker from chic street sticker boutique that disney girl is from paper popcorn co i believe that is the name of the shop um i'll leave it down linked it down below and this is just to mark that we hit 10 days until Disney so this is where all of my stress comes from and also the pre black Friday sale is because we're getting so close with what I feel is like so much more to do I do have a lot done though so I feel like I'm okay where I'm at but just in the back of my head it's stressing out moving over to the checklist I am putting down the same thing I keep it consistent as far as the countdown goes, pre-Black Friday sale countdown, print and cut stock. Again, it's just going to be happening all week long in between other stuff that I'm working on and that completes Friday. Moving on to Saturday, I'm using this coffee sticker from Pookie Berry Cuties. I don't know if it's available anymore. That is a super old uh, coffee sticker, like pretty much when I started planning, I think. And then putting down another Once More With Love glitter bow divider to block off that section box sticker from the kit laundry doodle sticker from my shop and that is to mark laundry day Laund uh, saturdays and wednesdays is our laundry days if you hear destiny coughing in the background she is home sick using this box sticker from sweet paper studio designs that chic beat is from miora studio and once it hits 10 days i like to do a daily countdown for disney and i kind of like to mark it the same way every single time especially on that specific week so it's all consistent so this day we of course hit nine days and oh my gosh we'll be in single digits this week which is crazy to me like it is getting so close. I'm so excited. I'm I'm ready for vacation and I'm ready for cooler weather, hopefully. My apologies, you're out of frame for that one, but using the same sticker, pre Black Friday sale countdown, one day left. It, ha it starts at uh, on Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, um, printing and cutting stock. Uh, you won't have to rush to purchase anything. It's not like I'm having a first like 40 orders get so-and-so. I just have freebies. Again, everything will be posted on Wednesday on my Instagram. Moving over to Sunday, use a large box from the kit. Sticker of stickers is from my shop. Two more newbies at 9 a.m. So they will be up at 9 a.m. There's not too many for this day, but that'll be in preparation for the Black Friday sale or pre-Black Friday sale. That box sticker is from Her Name is Savvy, and then that girl is from Paper Popcorn Co. I'm pretty sure that's the name. I could be mistaken, but I will leave it linked down below. And again, marking eight days until Disney. So this week, this is how I am marking the countdown next week. I will probably mark it a different way, but keep it consistent throughout the entire week. 
The banner sticker is from my shop and I just like that one because it doesn't hang down too low and doesn't take up too much room. I was going to put the um, countdown on the stickery portion but I wanted room in case there was anything else that needed to be done and there was just a sticker that said it's here, it's here on that sheet so I put that down instead of like today. Putting down what time it starts, which is 11.59 at my time, printing cut stock up until the sale begins, and that completes Sunday's spread. I still can't believe I forgot to put the Frozen. We already bought the tickets. I bought them like last week, and I can't believe I forgot to put that in there because we are so looking forward to Frozen 2. So excited to watch it this weekend. But anyways, putting my inserts back in. I always have to move my charms because then the bead gets stuck right underneath, and then I can never open my planner. So I always have to make sure all of my charms are out of the way. Putting all of my inserts back in so we can do a final flip through of what the week is looking like so far. So it looking very bare kind of easy is my mind just a little bit even though I know I have a lot going on just looking at it right now makes me kind of just like a woosa moment but anyways that is it for this week's plan with me I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys always so much for watching I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys in my next one bye guys bye.